Today we are going to present Digital Image Processing by Shongita Roy, Assistant Professor, Electronics and Communication Engineering Department, Narula Institute of Technology. Now we are presenting the course outline of Digital Image Processing. Course name Digital Image Processing, course code EC703A, total number of lectures 36, credit 3. Name of the faculty Shongita Roy, Department ECE, branch of the student ECE, section A or B mixed. Semester 7, year 4. Digital Image Processing, prerequisite, Digital Signal Processing, Linear Algebra, Differential Equation, Probability and Statistics, Calculus, Basic Programming Skill, C++, MATLAB or any other. Course Objective To become familiar with digital image fundamentals, to learn transform of digital images and its applications, to get familiar with simple image enhancement techniques in both spatial and frequency domain, to become familiar with image compression and recognition methods to learn concepts of image restoration techniques and image segmentation and representation techniques, to study the edge detection in digital image processing, to become familiar with basics of security in digital image processing. Course Outcome Have a clear idea on digital having fundamentals and importance of digital image transform. Understanding the importance of digital image enhancement in spatial and frequency domain and filtering techniques. Explaining the requirements and types of image compression and its standards. Demonstrate the basic concepts of digital image restoration and segmentation of digital images. Familiarize with edge detection techniques and concept on security in digital image processing. Program Outcomes Engineering graduate will be able to PO1 Engineering Knowledge Apply the knowledge of mathematics, science, engineering fundamentals and an engineering specialization to the solution of complex engineering problems. PO2 Problem Analysis Identify, formulate, review, research, literature and analyze complex engineering problems. Reaching sustained conclusions using first principles of mathematics, natural sciences and engineering sciences. PO3 Design and Development of Solutions Design solution for complex engineering problems and design system components or processes that meet the specified needs with appropriate consideration for the public health and safety and the cultural, societal and environmental considerations. PO4 Conduct investigations of complex problems Use research-based knowledge and research methods including design of experiments analysis and interpretation of data and synthesis of the information to provide valid conclusions. PO5 Modern Tool Usage Create, select and apply appropriate techniques, resources and modern engineering and IT tools including prediction and modeling to complex engineering activities with an understanding of the limitations. PO6 The Engineer and Society Apply reasoning informed by contextual knowledge to access societal, health, safety, legal and cultural issues and the consequent responsibilities relevant to the professional engineering practice. PO7 Environment and Sustainability Understand the impact of professional engineering solution in societal and environmental context and demonstrate the knowledge of and need for sustainable development. PO8 Ethics Apply ethical principle and commit to professional ethics and responsibilities and norms of the engineering practice. PO9 Individual and Teamwork Function effectively as an individual and as a member or leader in diverse teams and in multidisciplinary settings. PO10 Communication Communicate effectively on complex engineering activities with the engineering community and with society at large, such as being able to comprehend and write effective reports and design documentation, make effective presentations and give and receive clear instructions. PO11 Project Management and Finance 
demonstrate knowledge and understanding of the engineering and management principles and apply this to one's own work as a member and leader in a team to manage projects and in multidisciplinary environments. PO 12. Lifelong learning. Recognize the need for and have the preparation and ability to engage in independent and lifelong learning in the broadcast context of technological change. Now COPO mapping. The upper row including PO1 to PO12 and the first column in the left hand side it is CO. Therefore uh, this 5 CO is mapping with 12 POs and the result is giving PO1 to CO1 is 3. This index, this is an index. It is uh, the how it is, the, these two are mapped with how these two are correlated. One indicates less correlation, two indicates moderate and three indicates best. So it is a uh, scale of 3. And if there is no mapping, it is it will be 0. So this is the mapping of CO and PO. These are the references and book required and some, ex, some uh, internet resources are also there. These are the also references and thank you. But I want to show you one thing. Here this is the lesson plan. In the total syllabus it is divided into 5 modules. Module 1 consists of 7 lectures, Module 2 consists of 7 lectures, Module 3 consists of 6 lectures, Module 4 consists of 8 lectures, Module 5 consists of 8 lectures. Now this Module 1 is basics of digital image processing. So some uh, mathematical like Fourier transform, DCT and everything is there. It is a mix means idea introduction. And uh, module 2 is about digital image enhancement, different techniques are there. Module 3 is digital image compression. Module 4 is digital image restoration, some techniques, segmentation also there. Module 5 is edge detection, digital image processing. And in module 5 also security in digital image processing also there. And this is all about this course outline. Now thank you.